the bustling financial district here in Canada's largest city. We're coming to you from Toronto. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Toronto Raptors as they go up against the Miami Heat. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension, the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5, we all get treated the same. And that's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. Hard work does pay off, David. Thank you so much. A lot of experience on the floor tonight, Greg. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? Well, Kevin, guys are going to play smart, and they're going to be in position to make plays. So this could come down to just who makes more of the big shots. So here's Miami's starting group. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. Lee out there with Victor Oladipo, and it's Butler in at the three spot. And for Toronto, Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. Boucher out there with Barnes. And it's Dragic in at the point. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Boucher. Shot clock at five. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Always feels good getting that first one in the bank. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. Oladipo finds Butler. Passes it to Lee. Oladipo outside. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Well, there's a certain aggressiveness and assertiveness with which Victor Oladipo approaches the game. That's a pretty play through contact. Now, here's Dragic. We play just over a minute here in the first. Boucher against Adebayo. A fadeaway. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. Oladipo taking his time here. Lee kicks to Butler. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Rockets the pass to Barnes. Van Vliet with it. And here's Boucher. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. The Raptors need to get a shot off. Van Vliet can't get it to go. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. And Bam Adebayo, picked 14th in the 2017 draft, has made huge improvements throughout his career. Guy is a hard worker. And Coach Bolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. Two shots. Last on the first. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Greg, you were just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. He's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. Oladipo hits them both. There are a few things that you love about Victor Oladipo. Number one, the energy and effort he plays with every night. His willingness to carry a load on the offensive end. But more than that, guys, it's the tone and tenor of unselfishness that he sets for this entire group. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Pass 
to Van Vliet. Toronto working the ball around now. Barnes with it. Now defended by Oladipo. Barnes kicks to Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. So important as a point guard in a pick and roll play to understand when it's your turn to score it. Fred Van Vliet does just that. Now, here's Butler. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. And Adebayo throws it down. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Van Vliet wide open. Drops in the tray. Van Vliet's got five. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. Now, here's Butler. And Boucher sends it back. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Clock at four. Here's Butler. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Well, give Jimmy Butler credit right there. Resourceful, powerful, backs away from no one. There's the pass to Ananobi. For three, Van Vliet. Miami grabs the miss. Butler on the way. Covered by Van Vliet. And there's the foul. Boucher. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his first, That's his first foul. foul. Second team foul. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Raptors ball. Here's Van Vliet. He's got five. From deep. Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. For Miami, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Lee passes to Autobio. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Third team foul. Adebayo down low. Working on Boucher. Adebayo kicks to Buck. Just five on the clock. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Shot clock at two. Um, D. Barabayo. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. <laughs> Lee against Dragic. Pass to Boucher. Now Van Vliet. Six to shoot. The putback. It's good on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Lee with the ball. Guarded now by Barnes. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And it's Barnes with the ball for Toronto. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. 
<laughs> Mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocky, but they just got down to business and never let up. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. That's his first personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. And so far this season, it's it's been average at best at the line. Only 71% as a shooting. two shots. The first one falls. No, make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Raptors have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Van Vliet kicks to Dragic. Deflects the pass. Adebayo passes to Butler. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That's his second. Well, that's the level of tenacity that Jimmy Butler brings to the game. Finishes through contact as well as anyone, maybe short of LeBron James. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. And the Raptors making a change here. Dex checked in. That free throw good from Butler. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way, but it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Here's Boucher, and the dunk by Boucher. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here's Lee, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Adebayo with the ball. Now guarded by Dragic. Here's Deck. And there's a foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That's foul number two for him. Well, a bit reckless right there. That's his second foul, and he can't afford to pick up a third. And some changes here for the Raptors. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Barnes. And Trent subbed in for Goran Dragic. Then for the Heat, Dwayne Dedman's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Duncan Robinson in for Jimmy Butler. Passes it to Ilya Sova. Toronto working the ball around now. Pass to Van Vliet. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Van Vliet's got his third bucket of the night. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Some changes for Toronto. Makai Lucas checked in. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And then for Miami, Markeith Morris is checked in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Tyler Hero in for Victor Oladipo. Now, here's Trent. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Here's Temple. Poked away. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Lee. No good on the shot. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. Here's Temple. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Miami trailer. To the paint. 
Miami again turning it over. A perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. The Raptors have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Ilyasova passes to Temple. Here's Mikhailov. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And the Raptors lead by four. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. with the ball he had 13 points in the win against the Bulls in Chicago well you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates Raptors leading by four here's Mikhailu last game he had 10 points and the basket is good and when the size advantage is as big as it was there I mean that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation and there's the pass to Hero. And he uses the glass on the lane. And, and how about Harrell's body control, capable of still scoring even when the defense ups the ante in terms of physicality. Now, here's Trent. He's coming off a 13-point game against Orlando. Temple the pass to McKinley. And here's Trent. Five on the clock. Pass to Depp. Let's it go, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Now here's Lee. Defense right on him. Drives to the hoop, and Lee with the stuff. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Trent. There's three pointers off the mark. The Heat trail by four. Hero from long range. It's hauled in by Trent. Here's Deck, covered by Lee. Uncovered. Makai Luke can't get it to go. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Two minutes left. In now the Lee Two minutes. taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now he averages about nine points a game. Hero, no good. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Here's Temple. His last outing, he had eight points. Hands it from downtown. Mikhailuk's got seven. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Lee passes to Hero. One twenty-two left in the first quarter. Deadman kicks to Hero. Pulls from the top of the key. And it's good for two. Hero's got his second bucket. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Trent passes to McKinley. 
Here's Temple. Deadman defending. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. At the line, and taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Raptors. Great hustle defensively shots. through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Take a break. Yeah, and Take I think the other thing that's helped Two them shots. early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. That one is off. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and Toronto making a change here. And he sinks the second. 54 seconds left in the first. Now here's Lee. He takes it in. And stolen by Ilias Sober. Here's Temple, covered by Morris. Temple, the pass to Deck. Back to Temple. Launches a three. Buries it from three-point range. And the Raptors lead by nine. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And here is Hero. A 14-point game for him in the win against Chicago. Just five to shoot. Robinson for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you and you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays and so it's toronto with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter their shooting has been the big key their percentage from the field so far has been terrific back to the action after this word You talk to Jimmy Buck. His confidence in this Miami team, Greg, is at an extremely high level. I mean, listen to his words. We got a team full of guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's, a, it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. You talk about scoring and defending and playmaking. Craig, Jimmy Butler can do all three. Yeah, leading the way with his play, he's made a huge difference ever since he joined the team. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Offensively, they took care of the ball. And defensively, they forced a number of miscues. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Morris is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Dwayne Dedman. Then it's Tyler Hero. And it's Lee in at the point guard. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most important player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. Guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. D.A., thank you. Now, here's Hananobi. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Outside, Robinson. Let's it go from deep. A shot, no good. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. He's covered by Hero. And the Raptors miss again. The Heat trail by four. Outside, Robinson. Vader on the way. It's rebounded by Ilya Sova. 
Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And the shot goes in. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Hero finds Morris. Here's Butler. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And he's at nearly 90% from the free throw line this season, so having a terrific year. Free throw good from Butler. You know, I think, guys, in addition to becoming an elite two-way player, what I love about Jimmy Butler is the passion he plays with. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Autobio is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. P.J. Tucker comes in for Morris. And it's Oladipo in for Tyler Hero. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Barnes outside for three Van Vliet and the three ball is good Van Vliet's got ten points well I mean listen Fred Van Vliet you can practically close his eyes that's how comfortable he is out on the arc Robinson goes in count the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well that's his second well as soon as you recognize a size mismatch you have to attack First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Van Vliet passes to Ananobi. Trying to find Van Vliet and gets it to him. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. That's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Rogic kicks to Van Vliet. And again, Toronto with the triple. Yeah, this guy is cooking right now. Fred Van Vliet has found his rhythm, and the defense better step up here. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication. And his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. Four on the clock. Oladipo for three. Miami with a new 14. Get to, to go. That one good from Autobio. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Passes to Boucher. Pass to Ananova. Oh, here's Van Vliet. All three off the mark. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Jimmy and the shot is good. The Raptor lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Jimmy Butler. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the middle. And there's Barnes. That's good on the assist from Dragic. Barnes has got his first two points of the night. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Adebayo with the ball. 32 points for him last game against Chicago. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. Clock is at three, and it's good. Two points. Oladipo. Oladipo's got six points. Oladipo is a star, and he powers through the contact to convert. The pass to Barnes. To the wing right side. The kick out to Dragic. 
over Oladipo. No good from Trogic. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Now here's Butler. A 26-point game for him in the win against Chicago. And he was aggressive in how he played on the defensive side of the floor, notching three steals on the game. The Heat have been a perfect 8 of 8 in the line. Shooting for Miami, Duncan Robinson, taking two shots. Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Now, here's Dragic. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Ananobi. And Adebayo sends it back. And got to be careful shooting around Adebayo. An athletic big man who gets up as fast as anybody to block shots. Butler on the win. He's guarded by Ananobi. Here's Adebayo, and he hits it to tie the game up. Six points for Bam Adebayo. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. change here. Trent's checked in. Toronto, they've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Outside, Dragic. Back to Van Vliet. To the left side wing. Let's the three fly. Miami grabs the miss. Autobio's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Dragic. Sinks that one from the post. Dragic has got his second best. Nice move there by Dragic. Navigating the paint well to find himself an open look. Oladipo dishes to Tucker. Outside Butler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Van Vliet picks one up. Well, this to me is the problem with defending Butler. He typically takes it so strong, it's hard not to bite on that pump fake. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. And he makes the first. And so Butler nails both of them. 
And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Toronto. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Barnes passes to Trent. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Down low, Tucker. And a foul wow. call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. That's his second. I just love the activity. A fireball of energy. Tucker earning himself a trip to the strike. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Free throw, no good. And the Heat making a change here. Lee's checked in. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Toronto's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Barnes passes to Boucher. Trent with it. Barnes outside. Fires the three. Trains the three-pointer. Barnes has got five points in the quarter. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. A <laughs> wow, back and forth start, that's for sure. Lee finds Butler. Shot clock at six. Here's Autobio. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Autobio's got the game tied up here for Miami. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Van Vliet outside. Over Autobio. Here's Boucher. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Here's Autobio. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now here's Dragic. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Oladipo, and the Raptors check on two more. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. And Doris, though he's getting the press for his scoring, and he's been prolific, Van Fleet's defense is equally as impressive. My goodness, great instincts, rarely fooled. You can't trick him. Quick feet, strength in the post. You see guys try to take advantage of his lack of size. He won't have it. Here's Trent. Following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Here's Van Vliet. Nice D from Oladipo. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And Tucker kicks to Lee. Passes it to Adebayo. Butler against Dragic, and the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. I'll tell you, he's in a rhythm and playing with purpose. Great first quarter, even better in the second. Barnes dishes to Dragic. Pass to Trent. Over Butler. Trent can't hit. The Heat shooting and feeling it offensively in the second quarter. They're shooting 60%. Tucker, the pass to Butler. Wants to get it to Adebayo and does. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's his second. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Heat. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Well, something else they've done a good job of tonight is penetrating and getting points right at the rim. Morris is checked in for the Heat. Hero comes in for Oladipo.
free throw good out of bio. How about during his third season, Bam out of bio took the leap, named an all star for the first time. Bam was huge in the 2020 bubble, helping the Heat reach the NBA Finals. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Butler. He drives in. Here's the one thing. You know, off the ball, Butler is good. But with the ball in his hands, turn the lights out. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Adebayo passes to Lee. Back to Adebayo. Stolen by Van Vliet. Out left of the wing. We've got 128 left to play here in the half. Here's Mikhailu. A three-pointer is right on target. mikhailu has got 10 points in the game. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Butler deciding where to go with it. Here's Morris. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Morris has got his first points of the game. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but not now. Van Vliet against Adebayo. Here's Mikhailu. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. The pass to Hero. From the baseline. And it's Miami with another. Yeah, after the first quarter where they struggled from long range, they've really started to get it closer to the basket. Lee against Van Vliet. Shoots the three. And again, Toronto with the triple. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. The Heat with the lead. Now Butler. 15 points in the game. Out to Morris. He gets it up. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Jimmy Butler has been on display for the Miami Heat. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Eric Spolster here with us. A lot of three-pointers allowed in the first half. How do you limit that going forward? There's been some airspace uh, issues. I mean, there are a couple easy ones where we didn't rotate over on the weak side, but we're just not making that extra effort uh, to get to the shooters. And we know multiple effort is a big part of what you do. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Fred Van Vliet has been sensational. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. Barnes out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Dragic in at the point guard position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Shots good by Butler. Wow, very close to a potential and one. Butler converting through contact. Barnes outside. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Butler. And Boucher sends it back. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away.
On defense, Toronto. Shots good from Butler. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Pass to Ananobi. And a minute played as the second half gets going. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Pass to Butler. And it's blocked. Right side, Dragic. Inside, here's Barnes. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Jimmy Butler. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Scotty Barnes shooting one. The free throw off from Barnes. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved. Kevin plays great defense, has an excellent feel for the games. He doesn't have to score to impact winning. But if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. Dragic taking his time here. Pass to Van Fleet. Lock at six and stolen by Butler. The pass to Tucker. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his seventh assist here tonight. Well, this is why Butler has become a real threat on the offensive end. Yes, he's a great scorer, but he is equally capable and adept at finding the open guy. Back to Dragic. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Tucker. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Here's Trogic, and he drops it in from the low post. Rogic has got six. The Heat leading by seven. Lee kicks to Butler. Trying to get open is Adebayo. And it's Butler missing. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Rogic against Lee. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Over Oladipo. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Lee outside. It's Oladipo on the wing. Pass to Autobio. Good D by Barnes. Raptors trail by seven. Van Vliet outside. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Garrett Temple has checked in for Toronto. And then for Miami, Wayne Dedman comes in for Bam Adebayo. Robinson is subbed in for Butler. Here's Barnes. He has seven. on an open. Passes to Temple. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, no good by Toronto. The Heat leading by seven. Now here's Lee. He kicks it to Oladipo. That one drops for him. Oladipo's got the lead up to nine now for Miami. But you get the sense Oladipo likes to take it right at the defense on the inside. He says, yeah, I can score against you, big fella. All sorts of time. That one falls. Oladipo's got ten. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Pass to Temple. 
Here's on an open for three. It's Deadman with the rebound. Deadman's got five rebounds tonight. Oladipo finds Lee. Back to Oladipo. Over Temple. And it's off the back rim. No good. Raptors trail by 11. And the pass to Ananobi. From deep. That's it. Coming off an assist from Trogic. Trogic has got four assists in the game. Nice job by OG Ananobi to be aggressive from distance. Trogic against Lee. That's to Deadman. Over Boucher. Deadman shot is off. In Toronto, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Here's Trogic. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Robinson on the wing. He's guarded by Ananobi. Robinson kicks to Oladipo. Trogic against Lee. Passes it to Robinson. Oladipo outside. Over Temple. Ball's knocked loose. Toronto trailing. Rogic the pass to Barnes. Now Ananobi. Rebounded by Tucker. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Shooting one. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Heat. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. Raptors trail by 11. And here's Trent. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Temple. Guarded by Oladipo. Feeds it to Ilyasova. Here's Trent. Bangs home the trifecta. Trent's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Pass to Oladipo. Deadman trying to break free. And there's the bucket from Victor Oladipo. Oladipo's got 15 points. Toronto's gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Temple can't get it to go. Miami leading by 10. Here's Hero. And he takes that one up and powers it through. More than a great jump shooter, Hero is a tremendous ball handler who can finish the drive with either hand. And the foul on Victor Oladipo. Oladipo. And that'll be his third foul so far. The Raptors making a switch here. Makai Luke has checked in. Now into the lineup for your Raptors. Sviyakusov, Makai to the inside. Now, here's Trent. He's covered by Hero. Trent can't hit. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. And the former Kentucky Wildcat, Tyler Hero, he was picked 13th break in the 2019 draft. And he had an immediate impact. And you feel a lot of teams didn't see how NBA ready Hero was. Underrated as a playmaker coming into the league. He's been a huge part of this team since his arrival. That's good from Hero. And going back to the 2020 bubble, Tyler Hero was incredible 
as a rookie scoring 16 points per game in the playoffs a huge reason Miami reached the finals. And Hero drops them both. Trent with it. Now the pass to Jack. Guarded by Robinson. Another shot. Detman with the block. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Let's a floater go, and it's good on the way in. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Oladipo outside, pass to Robinson. Passes it to Hero. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this guy is a gamer. Hero embraces any chance he can to draw a foul while taking a shot. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line. And, and when we've had a chance to see him, he's had great form and, and continues to look confident. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. good from Hero. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And Hero drops them both. Raptors trail by 14. Here's McKaylin. He's got 12. Pass to Trent. Count it. Trent's got five points in the quarter. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Heat. He dishes it to Devin. The pass to Hero. Robinson for three. Unable to get that one. And Toronto will come the other way. Deadman. It's hauled in by Ilias Over. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. Lakers have made one of three free throws in the game. Team foul. At the line for Toronto. Number 45. One shot. And that one misses. Well, Heat leading by 10. Robinson passes to Deadman. Back to Robinson. Morris outside. That's tipped. Here's Mikhailu. He's covered by Hero. There's a minute 40 left in the third. The lead now cut to single digits. McKaylouk's got 14 points for the game. And for the Heat, they're shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Timeout called the Heat. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. 
Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Checked in for Ilyasova. Adebayo is checked in for Miami. Butler comes in for Duncan Robinson. Oladipo finds Butler. 122 left to play in the third. Now here's Dedman. Not a lot of room. Just four to shoot. The kick out to Oladipo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got assist number eight here in this one already. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Van Vliet passes to Jack. And they recover it. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Odipo against Van Vliet. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Oladipo for three. Rebound by the Raptors. It's stolen by Oladipo. Fast break, here they come. Now, Hero, defended by Trent. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. The dish to Butler. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And it's now 23 points for Butler. We know this. Jimmy Butler is an accomplished mid-range shooter, and he's got a tremendous stroke. Oladipo with the block. Outside Butler, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Jimmy Butler has been on display for the Miami Heat. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Let's listen in on what Eric Spolstra had to say to his team. I like the activity, guys. Active hands, active feet. They do not like it when we take it off the glass. And obviously the approach Eric Spolstra wants to see is that aggressive defensive approach and going after the offensive boards. Yeah, and that persistence really pays off. When these guys are determined, that's when they are at their best. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. So we get going in quarter number four. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. Out in the wings for them, Hero and Butler. Adebayo is out there with Dwayne Dedman. And it's Oladipo in at the one spot. Now, Hero defended by Trent. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Heat lead by 15. And you know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Van Vliet. Chris Boucher is checked in for the Raptors. And Miami also making a switch. Tucker's checked in. Odipo against Van Vliet. 
from 12 feet out. Tries again, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. An outstanding athlete for a player of his huge build. Adebayo will bang and bump with the best of them. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Barnes is checked in for Toronto. OG Ananobi comes in for Gary Trent. And Miami with a change here, too. Lee's checked in for Victor Oladipo. He's perfect from the line this time. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Now here's Barnes, guarded by Tucker. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Lee passes to Butler. And again, it's the Heat missing. Raptors trail by 17. Here's Barnes. Buries it down low. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around it. Outside Butler. And Boucher sends it back. Butler against Ananobi. Floater. He takes it up and lays it in. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. Lee outside. Pass to Butler. An easy two points on the layup. Butler's got ten points here in the second half. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Lee against Van Vliet. Lee passes to Autobio. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. Fred Van Vliet. That will be foul number five on him. Yeah, and that's number five. One more, and he is going to be done for the day. The Raptors making a switch here. Kragic has checked in. Here's Adebayo. Lee outside. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it from the elbow, and they pick up two. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Toronto. Barnes outside. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Miami leading by 13. Lee passes to Autobio. Butler kicks to Hero. Back to Butler. Shoots it up. Barnes grabs the miss. The Raptors have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Van Vliet outside. Passes it to Ananope. Five to shoot. Releases. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Lee finds Adebayo. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Three-second violation. Toronto ball. Up 
Panthers trail by 13. Outside Dragic. As do on and Launches it. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got assist number five here tonight. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Ananobi. And the lead is down inside single digits. Ananobi has got seven points for the quarter. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Lee passes to Butler. And there's the pass to Hero. Let's it go with the three. Score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. And look at how confident Hero is from range. He'll take that shot whenever possible. Pass to Dragic. There's the drive. And Adebayo sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain. line and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. And we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. Pass to Hero. Here's Van Vliet. Good. 22 points for Fred Van Vliet. Oh, tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage. Slipping pass there for the finish. Pass to Hero from outside the arc. And the Heat, another three. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Now here's Van Vliet. He's covered by Hero. Van Vliet kicks to Dragic. Here's Hananobi. That one misses. Some solid defense from Butler. A heat leading by 12 to the middle. Boucher with the steal. Butler against Barnes. Boucher against Butler. Boucher passes to Van Vliet. Off target from three-point range. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Van Vliet passes to Boucher. To the paint. And the dunk by Boucher. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that way. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Lee finds Hero. Outside Butler. Just five to shoot. It's hauled in by the ref. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. 
Van Vliet outside. The pass to on and over. A three. And Lee pulls it down. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Butler. It's out of bio, top of the key. Back to Butler. Out to Lee. Fires the three. And Boucher sends it back. Record ball. Friends checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Records. Gary Trent Jr. Rogic against Lee. Rogic the pass to Trent. Lee against Dragic. Ananobi has the open look. That's him coming off an assist from Dragic. Ananobi's got it back down to within single digits for the rep. And the Heat all time here. And throughout his career, Dragic has been a leader. It's a natural fit for him. Duncan Robinson called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, leader of his national team for a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. present our new balance player of the game and the shooting percentage how about all the way in the 60s shows how deadly he could be when he's feeling it and as locked in as he was they were trying to feed him as much as possible but he never got out of control I mean he kept his head and just stayed patient and with their spot in the postseason assured he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game Butler against Ananobi. Lee outside. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Heat lead by 12. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Butler against Ananobi. Here's Boucher and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And it's still a close game. I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the boards. Now, Lee. Passes it to Hero. Here's Autobio. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Autobio's got 19 points. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. Here's Ananobi. And he lays it straight in. Ananobi's got 15 points here in the second half. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Down low, Boucher with the steal. Oh, a nice pass by Dragas. Really putting that veteran eye to work. And the Heat call time here. They're ahead by eight. 146 left in the fourth quarter. It's a teacher bonanza. Make some noise.
146 left here in the fourth quarter. Adebayo drives in. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got seven rebounds in the game. Ananobi against Butler. Now, here's Ananobi. Defense is right there. Lays it up off the glass. Really taking advantage of every scoring opportunity. They've somehow found a way to make this thing exciting. Inside. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Heat lead by eight. And this is the level of intensity Adebayo brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. Ananobi kicks to Boucher. Back to Ananobi. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Well, what you know is OG Ananobi has certainly seen a lot of the world. This young man, born in London, moved to Missouri as a young man, goes to Indiana University, and then gets drafted by Toronto. That's country to country, folks. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to seven. Free throws, good from Ananobi. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Pass to Autobahn. There's 42 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. Well, it's a risky move to pull up from three-point range on the break, but it's a shot he's very comfortable with. To the inside. The baseline J. Again, Adebayo missing. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And the Heat call time here. They're up by three. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. They're holding on to the slimmest of leaders. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slim. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. At the line for the Heat, Jimmy Butler taking two shots. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion and he hits both free throws here so now it's a five point game well you love a guy who gets himself to the line takes his time and makes the free throws complete professional Toronto calls timeout 
They trail by five. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Barnes passes to Dragic. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Heat, Tyler Hero. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So it gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by seven. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. There's Dragic with the three. It's good from beyond the arc. An assertive player. Dragic knows he has the green light to catch and fire. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jimmy. Explosive night for you offensively. You were feeling it out there. Uh, filling in and, and taking rhythm shots. I feel like all shots that I take are, are going to go in because I'm so used to taking those shots, man. But for my coaches and my teammates, they got the utmost confidence in me shooting whatever shot because they know it's going to be a good one. It was very good tonight, Mr. Buckets. Thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.